Good morning, everybody. How are you all doing? Uh, sorry it's been so long since a since a video. I did actually do one the other day that I was like really. Well, I was going to say a long one. It wasn't a particularly long one, but I've done done loads of clips and everything. So I recorded them and then it just sort of stopped. The next day I didn't record any. The day after I didn't record any. So it was sort of pointless putting them up. So. <laughs> uh, You've gone by the wayside. Uh, it's Thursday and it's freezing outside. Yeah, it's quite frosty. The ground's white with frost. The cars are frozen up. Um, I've got a, I've got a nip out. I've got a occupational health assessment for my new job to do, uh, which. I'm more nervous about them than what I was for the interview. <laughs> uh, fingers crossed it'll go well. Um, Try to think if there's any news. No, it's not nothing new sort of come up. Um, just filling out forms for this job and things like that, and trying to get my sleep pattern all sorted, which I slept well last night and actually got a good six hours. Pretty much, um, which is good for me. And got up at a decent time. I was up at half past seven this morning. Oh, that's good. Had my breakfast and everything. Uh, so got got this assessment. Then my friend Paul's coming round later on. And I don't know what we're doing. I thought I was going to have to get my phone replaced, so I would have to wait in for that. But turns out it's okay now. Uh, last night I was getting moisture warnings for the USB port. Um, every time I plugged it into charge and cleared out the USB cache and all sorts of things like that and couldn't stop it. Um, so I've had to charge it via wireless charging during the night. But that was in a different room so I've had to leave my phone in another room overnight. So I couldn't use it for the alarm. Um, but woke up this morning it's working fine now so... That's that's good. Don't need to get it changed. Uh, I don't know what it, what it was. I don't know why. It's a, when I'm in the bath, I have the toilet. I have the the phone on the toilet with me. Speak up, play me music, things like that, uh, which I've done for years. And the doors sort of ajar, so no build up of steam and things like that. Uh, worked fine. It was only when I plugged it in for charging. And I've done that for years and never had a problem and this phone is waterproof to a certain extent so it shouldn't be affected by that. But it must, whatever was there must have dried out during the night um, and it's working fine now. So good, good. Uh, hopefully it doesn't happen again. Anyway. I've got to go and get ready. Uh, so I'm going to have to leave. What's the quarter? I'm going to have to leave in about half an hour's time. <laughs> Probably defrost the car, but like take a sensible, slow drive down there. Uh, then see how it goes. Anyway, I'll catch you a bit later on. Uh, yeah, have a good day. Well, I'm back. I'm back. It's. Still freezing cold. <laughs> oh, what a job I had there uh, scraping the car. My fingers were burning at the end. Sorry, squeaky chair. Burning fingers at the end. Um, yeah, I couldn't get the screen wash out of the, the, the screen wash, the de-ice out of the shed because the padlock for the shed was frozen. So, uh, so old scraper job. Uh, my fingers are no but burning if you know what I mean so being bought some more de-icer keeping the car and some screen wash uh, but the assessment went well that's good um, looks like I passed that so I'll just wait here it's like security checks now and that shouldn't be too long then fingers crossed get the start date so yeah it was a lot more straightforward than I expected then had to do an auditory test, which is like sit in this little metal cubicle thing with headphones on. It was 
where it was actually quite comfortable in there. It was uh, nice and warm in there. Uh, whereas in the actual medical room, it was a bit chilly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, listen to beeps, you know, like let's see what frequencies you can hear and things like that. So I'll pass that. Uh, obviously. Oh, yeah, fingers crossed. Um, so I've been in touch with Paul, he's on his way up. I think we need a nip down to Halfords for him to get some screen washed. And we're going to go for go for a cheeky coffee, I believe. So that's good. Don't know what else we've got planned, but that's it. And tea tonight. Denise has just been asking us what I want for tea. And I thought, oh, quite in the mood for Tagli Telly. So I think we're going to have that. Tagli Telly Carbonara. Lovely. Yeah. yeah, I need to start getting some things ready for when I start this job, you know, whatever. Uh, what I used to use, the old torches and stuff like that. I already got my old faithful pen out. Uh, yes, this pen's served me well for my last security job. Yeah, it's, it's actually a security pen, but like a, a tactical pen, but by... God, it's so comfortable to write with. Um, so if anybody likes a nice heavy pen, comfortable and got big fat hands like me, these pens are lovely. So comfortable to, to write with. I find this better than writing with a normal, like a Bic or Parker or whatever. I, pres I prefer this. It's much nicer weighted. So yeah, I've got that ready. Uh, I just the odd thing. Um, there's still really quite a bit about the job I don't know yet. Um, obviously, they provide the uniforms, stuff like that. Uh, but the full extent of the duties, I don't know. I don't know because it's a massive complex. I don't know if we do indoors and outdoors or just outdoors or anything like that. Um, that that's to be seen and obviously what things have to be done on different shifts and the and time will tell when it, when it comes to the training and all that sort of thing or starting the job and shadowing or whatever you know time will tell that sort of stuff uh, but yeah I'll get going for now not much to tell at the moment <laughs> Hello, darling. You all right? I think she's waiting for me to, to go to bed. Because <laughs> I was sitting on the settee before. And she always hangs around waiting for me to go to bed. But it's not bedtime yet. I haven't had my tea. Yeah, um, Paul's just left. Be there. Must be nearly, nearly six hours, I would say. Had a good natter and good catch up, which was good. Uh, what did we do? Yeah, we went for, well, we didn't go for a coffee actually, hot chocolate at Costa's. It was nice. Good door, what we needed to do. Went to Halfords and then went, I nipped to Home Bargains because I wanted to get. I thought, it'll be nice. We'll never do this, me and Denise, but night time, it'll be nice. To, in, the, in these cold nights, have a nice hot chocolate. Be lovely. <laughs> I've had a hot chocolate at bedtime for, I think, since I was a kid. I fancy it'll be nice, you know, just sit watching telly with a hot chocolate, like a like an old couple. <laughs> um, but since I got Denise one of these at, at Christmas to help with the help with the water intake, I thought I'd get one. Look at the size of this beastie. That's huge. It's a, uh, it's quite solid plastic as well. I don't know what that is. I don't know if a liter and a half or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure what it is, but it's a lot. Uh, but good, good sturdy thing. I thought it was still four pound fifty or something from Home Bargains. It's a bit like the things you get on TikTok, isn't it? <laughs> and bottles. If you can hear a hiss, it's just because I'm boiling a pan of water. Um, yeah, I got the screen washed and everything, like I was saying earlier. Uh, 
that's about it. Uh, no, I think I did. I don't think I've got anything else there. But yeah, nice. Got some summer fruits juice in there at the moment. Well, actually, it's a sticker on the bottom. Let's see if that says. Oh God, I can't read. That's too small. <laughs> It's like the eyesight test I've done this morning. Uh, what did I watch? Yeah, I wish I could. Oh, been watching on Netflix. Been watching some dramas. Uh, Cobain, somebody Cobain. Cobain. Uh, this, the dude who does these stories. There's like a series of dramas. The one we watched last night was called The Stranger. If you get a chance to watch that and you like British dramas, watch that. It's only about eight episodes long, ten episodes, something like that. But it's, uh, it's really good. It's a good little twist at the end. Uh, but definitely worth watching that. We've watched a few of them. I think there's a one called Stay Close. Um, a few different ones. There's like British actors in it who been in other things. Uh, one of the mothers from Benidorm's in it, uh, who was in Downton Abbey. Uh, she was in it. It's, uh, it's quite good. Uh, if anybody likes them. Um, I don't know if you get them. Sue from the Real Brits of New York. If you, I don't know if you can get British Netflix unless you use a VPN. Um, but if you can't get them... Or if you need any more details about them, let us know. If you can't get them, try watching them. They are really good. So, oh, what else? No, I think that's about it. I'm just waiting for Denise coming home from her mother's at the moment. There's no other further gossip. There's nothing happening. Nothing needs updating. Uh, I can't, no, I didn't mention because I didn't do the do the videos. Molly had a checkup last week at the vets and she's absolutely fine. And the good news, there is actually a bit of good news. Because the said she would have three to six months um, left to live. This was like a year ago, somewhere around there, maybe it's longer. The same vet who said that actually seen us this time. And he was quite surprised and he waited at him and she hasn't lost weight. And she was looking really healthy and she was eating. And I went, yeah, eating. Normal. Normal happy cat, you know. Plays with her tail and all sorts, you know. It's like, dead caring. You know. She eats properly and uh, goes to the toilet and all that sort of thing. And he's going, hmm, did we ever get a proper check done? He tried to push, he tried to sort of like, a, well, if we get these checks done, da, 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 da. like for the checks alone, it'll only cost £500. And I was like, really? Because he says, if it will need to take, we'll need to cut it open, which is um, dangerous by itself because there's all sorts of things that control the tongue and all sorts of yeah. So if we can get past them, we'll need to take a shaving off our jawbone and all sorts to do these tests. I'm, I'm not putting my cat through that. She's 16 years old. She's happy. So, uh, yeah, fair enough. She's got this lump, which has got a bit bigger, but still she's fine with it. Um, that's I'm going to put my cat through that. So... Uh, I've just realised my speaker's still on. I hope the hope the sound hasn't gone through that because the sound will just be going in and out, in and out, grabbing, changing rooms. Um, but he says he thinks she may not have this aggressive cancer that the thought she had. Um, he says it look it's got a good chance because she's not she hasn't gone. She's still here. She's healthy. She's happy. Uh, it must he thinks it'll be a benign one, um, a benign tumor. Uh, but they need to do the test, that's how I'll deal with that. So, doesn't look like she's gonna, doesn't appear like she's gonna go. So, that's good. So, that is, that is actually some good news that came from that vet's visit. So, uh, <clears throat> but apart from that, there's nothing. No, she's not here yet. There's nothing else needs updating. So, on that note, I shall let you go. God, these, these lights make us look so pale. Um, I shall let you go. Um, 
hope everybody's doing okay and the weather's not too bad where you are and if it is icy and snowy or whatever be safe and i shall catch you all very very soon bye for now look after yourselves take care